Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Caroline Woods here to take you through today's market action. The major averages all ended stronger today with the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100 posting new closing highs. The NASDAQ led the move higher with a 1% gain. S&P 500 rose by six tenths of a percent. Dow Jones by about half a percent and the Russell 2000 by two tenths. Now taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors on the day, consumer discretionary stocks jumped 1.8%, followed by financials. Meanwhile, healthcare and energy were the only two sectors in the red. Now let's take a look at some of the biggest stories today. Stocks rallied from morning lows after Fed Chair Jerome Powell stated that inflation is heading in the right direction, but not enough to cut interest rates. Powell said that while inflation is heading back to the 2% goal, he added, quote, we just want to understand that the levels that we're seeing are a true reading of underlying inflation. Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk took a hit after President Biden called on the companies to lower prices for weight loss and diabetes drugs. List prices for popular medications like Ozempic and Wegovy range from hundreds to over $1,000. Novo Nordic stock fell 1.7%, while Eli Lilly fell 0.8%. Meanwhile, Eli Lilly's new Alzheimer drug received FDA approval after a phase three study revealed promising treatment data. And Tesla was the top performer on the S&P 500, closing 10% higher to end Tuesday's session. The company announced it sold nearly 444,000 vehicles during its second quarter, more than the 436,000 analysts expected. Noted Tesla bull Dan Ives said the worst is in the rearview mirror for Tesla, and he's looking forward to the company's robo-taxi event on August 8th. Let's take a look at what to watch for tomorrow. A handful of labor market data highlights Wednesday's slate with factory orders and ISM services coming later tomorrow morning. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Caroline Woods. Remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.